Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome those of us who have just returned to the headquarters on redeployment. Mrs. Pamela James is taking over internal control from Kazim, who we all know is going on retirement. Mrs. James is from Special Branch, Scotland Yard. Mrs. James, you're welcome back home. Thank you, Chief. Good. George uh, is from our branch in Accra, Ghana. George, you're welcome back. Thank you very much, Chief. Yeah. It's my pleasure to be in the headquarters. Good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our internal audit report for the last three years. I've gone through it, and after going through it, I've come to understand that some people in this agency, maybe now, maybe before, have been burrowing through the parts of the agency, like rats. Yes. It is fraud, they call it, anywhere else in the world. Yes. And fraud in a very sensitive agency like ours. It's a dent on our image, on our jobs, and most importantly, on the ethics and principle of our duty, which is high crime prevention. Are you listening to that? Isn't that funny? I mean, this is Interpol, for heaven's sake. What are we going to tell the rest of the world? Huh? Anyway, all of us gathered here right now are the principal staff of this headquarters. Yes. And so, it's a matter before our very eyes and on our nose. <laughs> you see, we are in a mess. We are in a mess. Yes. This is the beginning and the end of whoever is the miscreant that is responsible for this fraud. Mrs. James, you and your team of agents will begin your work from here. Am I understood? Yes, Chief. Yes. Mrs. James, George is going to be working with you. He will supply you all the vital or the data that you require during your investigation. Yes. And Ms. Clark here will familiarize you with all the uh, restricted information during your investigation. Now, I want your report within 48 hours on my table. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Chief. Good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want your maximum support and cooperation for this lady who has come to solve our problem. Thank you. Uh, by the way, Mrs. Pamela James, you are supposed to be investigating the missing funds. How much are we talking about here? Uh, Senior Superintendent Bimbo, you should be talking to me. Mrs. James has just reported here. She wouldn't know anything about the missing man. You understand what I'm saying? That's all right, Chief. By the way, the missing fund is in the region of a hundred million dollars. Yes. Yes. Mrs. Pamela James, I would like to assure you that you will have my maximum cooperation and course of your investigation. 
Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will be all. Mrs. James, this you. is your file. Study and report back to me. Mr. Mitchell, 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 Mr. means, don't you? I am afraid, sir. Now listen to me. I want Mrs. James to be followed anywhere she goes, whatever she does, and which office she enters into. Every information I want to be the first to get it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. You Good. can count on me, sir. Good. Good day, sir. Good day. Yeah. Here are the folks. Thank you. Where's the arms acquisition budget file? I can't find it, madam. Come on, Jane. You're supposed to keep custody of the documents. Yes, I... Where do you have the disket? They're all there. Here. It doesn't seem to be here. I suppose it was retrieved from the arsenal of um, control data file we have uh, at the headquarters. <sighs> but here, I wouldn't know, madam. You can't be serious, Jay. This is abnormal! It's a shame! God. Is Chief in the office? Yes, madam. Alright, Judge. The same.
There's been some discrepancies in the documentation. What do you mean? Well, the arms acquisition file is missing. Then refer your complaints to the young lady I attached to you. She knows everything. <laughs> I'm afraid, Chief, she doesn't. Jane. Come over here. Yes, Chief. What is the news? Mm. I'm sorry, Chief. I have looked everywhere for the file and I've not been able to locate it. Please, if you will give me some time. You can't be serious. What do you mean you cannot? Now, this is the way it works, okay? send out notifications to all our sister departments throughout Africa. You understand? You know, there may have been a mix-up during the information exchange program that we had. I think that's the only way to find that file. Okay? Okay, Chief. Yes, Mrs. James. Yes, sir. Um, I think uh, we'll have to wait for her to get confirmation from all of the sister departments around Africa. All right, Chief. gone through the file, what do you think? I see a pretty tough case and uh, it's really going to be rough and tough. Uh. They say when the going gets tough, gets going. And you, John? Nothing. Uh, Pat, anything? Nothing really, but I have a signal I'm working on. I'm not... Just step on it, step on it. Bond, yes. you let me know as soon as anything comes in, right? Okay, Yeah. Just waiting for you at the office. Oh, all right. Well then, George. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Whoever is doing this must be some high ranking administrative personnel. How many Jones? Madam, I think it's going to the control room. There is something positive. The control room? Oh, all right. Be there in a minute. Uh, put him on hold. Yes, sir. Listen, I'll be right back. Okay. Yes, 
So who do we have on the line? Engine this month. Agent Desmond? Can you read me? Hello, this is Agent Desmond. Yes, uh, Mrs. Pamela Jones on the line. Well, Madam, I received a mail about the missing budget file via our satellite last night. That's good. So, can we have the information now? Well, uh, madam, in a situation whereby we need to open such file, we, it will require a special gratification if you really understand me. Because uh, my contact outside would definitely bill me. And they would definitely ask for money. <laughs> no way. I mean, there's no way we can do that. You are a staff of the force. Uh, no, what I am trying to do is beside my statutory obligation as an agent. I'm only trying to risk my life. Rather, I'm going to risk my life to make sure we recover the file. And it's better we know how much you will have to let go off from the office. Excuse me. Hello, Desmond. Um, this is Sarah, Superintendent George of the Finance Department here in the headquarters. I want to assure you that you'll be handsomely rewarded. So please, can you, can you give us the information? As it is so vital to us right now. I think we have to see the chief right now. Okay, let's go see the chief. <laughs> Man, listen guys, if anything comes up, make sure I'll be the first to know. Yeah, so is that. Good day, sir. Uh, Bon. Sir. How are you today? I'm fine, sir. Sir, I'm from the control room. There's one agent Desmond from Ghana. He said he had found the missing budget file. In fact, he's discussing with Miss James now. Hello. Hello. Control room. Please, can I be on to Ghana? Has he disclosed any information? Not yet, sir. They are still negotiating. Hello. Hello. Is this Ghana? Good. This is Bimbo, Senior Superintendent Bimbo, Lagos. I just wanted to find out if um, one Superintendent Nathan Doe has gone back to Liberia or whether he's still in Ghana. back to Liberia. Very well. Um, there is this other chap, Agent Desmond, of your communication department. Can I speak with him? All right. You are very sure he has not disclosed any information? I'm very sure. Hello. Hello. Agent Desmond on the line. Yes. Agent Desmond, this is Bimbo, Senior Superintendent Bimbo from Lagos. Oh, good day, sir. Good day, sir. I understand that you have been able to locate the budget file from the Interpol network. Oh, affirmative, sir. I see. No. If I remember you very well, you used to work in the finance department, am I correct? Yes, sir. I see. Haha, <laughs> beautiful. Now, please, do not hesitate to communicate the contents to Mrs. Pamela James. Yeah, definitely, sir. Yes, Mrs. Pamela James, the lady from Scotland Yard. Yeah. 
Definitely, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Good. And I want to assure you uh, that for doing a very good job, you will be rewarded bountifully. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate that, sir. Yes. Oh, well, mine is doing well, too. <laughs> what else can I say? But to keep doing a good job for Interpol. Yes. All right. Bye-bye. Goodbye, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Woohoo! Get Jack now. Right? <laughs> I mean, Moravia. <laughs> ah, come on, man. Come on, Thanks, man. You? I'm all right. It's been a long time, man. Thank you, man. How did you locate me? I mean, what are you doing in Ghana? Um, uh, I'm here in Ghana, you know. I just said, uh, let me pay a visit, you know. To you, you Whatever, know. indeed, it is a surprise. I must say, <laughs> I mean, you're welcome in Thanks, to man. Ghana, man. Come on, let's, let's, get, let's have a drink, man. Traces. Good. As soon as you get back to Nigeria, let me know. Oh, by the way, that was good for a start. Okay? Interpol Ghana called to inform us that Agent Desmond was killed in his hotel room last night. They said you should communicate to them whatever transactions you had with him so that they can be of assistance to you. Um, Hello? Tell them that we'll get back to them. Hmm? Okay. Is that Nick? Madam? Yeah? Nick is on the line. Oh. James here. Let you have the budget file with you. All right. So um, that's good. How do we get the file, and how do we get your money to you? Okay. 
All right. Um, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right. Okay. Bye. And Ben. Yes, madam. Don't forget to ask Agent Bimbo to see me, please. No problem, ma. Make sure the assignment is completed and you report back to me here in 24 hours. Yes, sir! Good day, sir. Yes, morning, Bimbo. Sit down. I have an assignment for you in Cairo. The Interpol in Cairo has in their custody a Nigerian born spy known as Kaza all over Egypt. I want you to go and interact with her counterparts in Cairo. Secure his release. I want us to handle the case here. Okay? There are two junior agents who will be traveling with you. Report back to me as soon as you finish with your draft. That's all right, sir. But sir, may I quickly suggest uh, that we send another capable personnel like um, Agent Solomon. Because already my hands are full with security arrangements for the president's tour of, of the coast. I see. And get someone competent to go. All right, sir. Yes. By the way, Mimbo. What do you think of the mystery surrounding the missing arms and ammunition money? Nothing. It's just a false alarm. Anyway, the letter be snooping around. It gives us something to do. That woman is not here to just snoop around. She's one of our best in Scotland Yard. So if you are not sure, Bimbo, let me know. Will do, sir. Sir, if that will be all, I beg to take my leave. Sure. Go ahead. Yes, sir. We're planning the meeting in such a place where we can have access to coding and relaying the events back here for our observation. I have concluded plans as to... Are you sure that you are not wasting the department's resources on wild ghost chase? Do you have any better idea? Yes, Chief. What is it? First, we don't pay that money. Let Mrs. James use intelligence materials to sort herself out. As a matter of policy, that is quite correct. But uh, Mrs. James, we'll see how this goes, okay? Yes, Chief. expected to take place in the next one hour. Now, listen very carefully. 
terminate targets. I repeat, terminate targets, except bond our man. The negotiation will be transmitted. And of course, your check will be ready in her currency. The relay of the negotiation will be somewhere on the rooftop with the dish. No clues, Jack. I repeat, you must leave no clues. Do I make myself clear, Jack? Do I make myself clear? Uh, my name is uh, Graham. I believe I have a reservation here. Okay, just a minute, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. Let me get the photo uh, to show you. The oh, treaty. you don't bother. Just give me the keys. I'm going to find my way. All right. Sir. You're welcome, sir. What's your name? Bola. Oh, pretty eyes you got. Thank you very much, sir. Have a wonderful stay. We are close, Chief. This close to establishing contact. Mm hmm. Lion Hat Tail, give us situation report. Lion has received blood and play. Situations, we have not arrived location to meet with the parties. Over and out. Good. Keep us posted when you get into the venue. Over. Also in visuals, okay? Who is that? Uh, I candidly do not know, sir. But uh, he sure looks like a, a lodger to me. No, 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 no lodgers. We took the entire complex. If there's going to be anybody at all, it must be one of the boys. Sir, this looks like uh, a staff of the hotel. Staff of the hotel? Right. That does not look like a service staff of the hotel. Play it back, let me see. Okay. Play it back. Yeah. 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 Papa, who is this?
Something, there's something wrong here. Yes! Something is not right. I think the transmitter just uh, failed. The transmitter. That's right. to abort this mission now. Still alive. Still alive, but wounded. We need an ambulance. An ambulance. Yeah. 
You have something. Hand gloves. Hand gloves. What is the meaning of this? Huh? Nothing, sir. Except that someone here is trying to impress us. What exactly do you mean? This over-dramatization of a non-existence fraud must be stopped immediately. Agent Bimbo, sir! You call a situation that has claimed the lives of your agents drama? Well, who knows? Maybe to attract huge budget to finance the evidence. I mean, it's, it's a common practice in espionage. What are you talking about, Bimbo? Sir, would you respect, sir? Superintendent Mrs. Pamela James here is working on mere speculation. Because there is no evidence to prove that that amount of money is missing for all I know. I mean, the United States, the Arab nations have not reported about any money missing. Not even the sub regions, except South Africa and Nigeria. Meaning exactly what? Meaning, sir, that the said hundred million dollars could have been expended on arms and ammunitions to execute secret projects in various parts of the world. So, therefore, if the CIA, KGB, and FBI have not reacted on these assumptions, why should we? Because the CIA, FBI, and KGB do not form the Interpol. Therefore, they cannot delve into financial matters here. And if there is no fraud, like you eloquently claim. How come the budget file, both on papers and the discus, how come they're missing? I will educate you, Superintendent Mrs. Pamela James. Do you know that Tony and the secretary who once handled this budget file could have miscoded the information to some other places? I mean, it's a common practice. It has happened here severally. So what exactly are we talking about here? What are we saying? Uh... Mrs. James, Bimbo here is a very experienced agent in espionage, and I should think uh, that uh, you respect his opinion on this issue. Sir, I do respect Agent Bimbo's integrity. I just wish that he would at least analyze my own findings objectively. I think he's doing that already because he was the one who mentioned the uh, retired uh, secretary. Of course. Okay. I guess you're right, Chief. Uh, maybe I've got to see her right away. Yes, run along. Excuse me. You don't. You don't get it, do you? You don't get it, Mrs. Copeland. Yeah. This whole thing was over two years ago. Somehow, but it came back again. That was why the headquarters insist on you coming around. Damn the headquarters. Look, I am sick and tired of a bully heart. Sonia, unfortunately, the bully heart isn't tired of you. Please, we need you. Look, picking up this job is a risk. I can't risk my family, my son, my husband, my family generally. Sonia. Bully Hard is not asking you to come back. All we need from you is just to help locate the files. Exactly. Since you were in charge of them. I hope I won't have to come back again. No problems. If it's better. Now. Um, we have scanned the gloves and, the, and here are some of the fingerprints. I'll show you. Mm. Okay, let me see that. Mm. 
We've conducted an investigation on the fingerprints on all known terrorists, assassins, and mercenaries worldwide. We are here to get an identity fit. Hmm. Have you tried investigating the fingerprints of our agents? Because whoever has carried out this operation must be truly grounded on our information system. Thanks, sir. Hmm. I'm here to do that, madam. Then get on it. I have something here, madam. Yes, what is it? An identity fit. Mm -hmm. Name Arnold. Arnold Clem. Arnold Clem? Hmm. Who is he? I do not know. Huh? Madam, I also have something here on Arnold Clem. Yeah, what is it? It reads Squad 23. Squad 23? It means Arnold can be traced to Squad 23. Oh. Access the file. Negative, madam. It requires a special code number and I don't have it. Save up whatever we have there now. Hmm? Okay. We'll see what we come up with. Listen, Jonah, arrest him, okay? Yes, arrest him and bring him here. Uh, Chief, we have a lead into the identity of the intruder. You do? So, who is he? We don't know exactly who now, but uh, that's why I'm here. Woman, talk. The Security Council is meeting in 48 hours, and I want you to be there to address them on this issue. All right, sir, but first I need to be granted access into Squad 23 website. Mm. That's not quite possible, but uh, classified. Well, Chief, we're lucky to have gotten the hand gloves used by the assassin on the day of the incident. So we took a bit of a specimen of a fingerprint and decided to scan it through our identity fingerprints site. Because we believe that whoever is doing this must be well informed. On further scan, we discovered that the identity of the owner of the fingerprints can only be traced to score 23. The bully heart, otherwise known as Quad 23, is a secret unit of this agency whose activities are classified even to the deputy chief inspector, unless a grave need arises for it. But sir, such is the need now. Chief, this is as serious as they can be. I say no, Superintendent James. But sir, I need all the cooperation I can get to unravel this. Mrs. James, I'll let you into a secret. Go to Superintendent Bimbo. He was the last to command the squad. Congratulations, um, Jack. That was very professional. It was clinical. Very good. You know, it makes me feel good when I impress my employers. And that means more cash in my pocket. <laughs> there is no doubt that um, 
You will have a handful of it. But by the way, this woman, Mrs. James, she has been snooping and snooping closer and closer. Maybe, just maybe, we should do something about her. Thank you. The chief sent me to you. The chief? I see. Why? Um, something just cropped up and um, he says it's directly under you. I see. The operations of the Interpol Secret Agency, otherwise known as the Bullhead Squad, can never be made public to anyone for any reason whatsoever. I see. You already know my mission. I am an agent, madam. There is a pressing need right now for us to do a scan on the squad's fingerprint accessories to be able to ascertain the identity of the intruder so that we could have a headway and at least achieve something in the investigations. Come on, Bimbo. You know how this thing works. Hmm? I need your cooperation. Yeah, I swear. Ladies first. Thank you. Does it usually take this long for the system to come up? Yeah, but um, in a short while it will come up. Well, the system needs to be upgraded. Why don't you suggest that in our next meeting? So, here we are. Yeah, um, by the way, this is a confidential unit of the agency. 
and not even the death of a president can turn its confidentiality. I am really going out of my way. Agent Brimbo, you get too critical. Well, you have to understand my position. Um, excuse me. Uh, if you don't mind, please, can you, you know, uh, turn your face on the other side? I was just going to ask you to put in the code. Please. Oblige me. Turn your face around. All right. You done? I am done. Thanks. Yeah. Here we are. Agent Bimbo, what is this? Is it a mistake or deliberate? Oh, I am sorry. A mistake. Oh, by the way, here we are. Yeah, this is a comprehensive manual documentation of all um, the identities and profiles of the, all the members of the bullion. And uh, please, we have to be fast about it because I'm so late. Yeah, just, just a minute. I, I would just like to confirm something. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, what, uh, what are you doing? My time is up. Listen, what are you doing? I just need to take out some information and that's all. I mean it. Uh, shall we? friends that travel to your country Nigeria mm -hmm. and they were telling me some good things about your place mm -hmm. so I was thinking maybe we should go there this time for a vacation since you know since we're going to be spending the rest of our lives together yeah sure 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 yeah. we'll oh, check it out you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hi, I'm Mr. Sidibe, and I'm here to see Hanold. Hanold? Yeah, Hanold Clem. Oh. oh, don't bother, don't bother. See, today happens to be his birthday, and I'm here with a surprise package. I am his brother from Nigeria. Okay. Go up room 112, third floor. Thank you very much. What's your name? Cynthia. Lovely breeze you have there. <laughs> Mm. So what's going to be for this afternoon? Mm. Oh, baby, you know how you like it. Oh, baby, what's that going to be? Don't okay. be kid. No, no, it's okay, baby. Just wait. And okay. then you come back to the bed and I'm going to give you the mm. next mm. dish. No, that's my baby. Okay, we have the drink. <laughs> Okay, now you're uh, my, oh my god. 
Hello. Hello, sir. Oh, Cynthia, how? Happy birthday. Birthday? Who? Whose birthday? Your cousin is on his way up. Who? From Nigeria. Cousin from Nigeria? Okay, um, um, okay, I'll, I'll talk with you, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. We must leave here right now. Yeah, we must, we must leave. We must leave. Yeah, stop. Yeah, stop. We must leave here right now. Get your things. Get your things. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get your things. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get your stuff. It's just too sudden, okay? It's too sudden. Get your stuff, or else I'm gonna leave you right here. What if I say I would? Okay, then I'll see you some other time. Oh. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, quickly! Oh my goodness, I'm so old. Quickly! Calm down, I think we lost him. I think just calm down, calm down. Oh yes. Sir. Oh thank God. Calm down, baby. Just calm down, okay? Thank God. I think we lost him.
Julie Julie Sorry to disturb you. Limbo. May I? Uh, sit down, madam. Um, I'd like you to tell me all you know concerning the Bullhard squad. The board sits today, and I don't think I have much to tell them. That's not my problem. <sighs> oh, come on, Bimbo, but we're colleagues. Besides, Nessa said I could talk to you. Well, Squad 23, called the Bullyhard Squad and popularly known as the Bullyhards, was a killer squad of the agency which was closed down two years ago after a total 15 out of its 20 members were killed in various missions. Hmm. And this um, mission, uh, operation, could you just describe it? Mrs. Pamela James. Killer squads do not extinguish fire outbreaks anywhere around the world. They kill. That's all. And please listen to me, madam. Nobody wants to hear anything about bully hard around here. Not here. Not anywhere around. Now why don't you go back to Nessa and tell him that? Maybe yeah, he could help you since he's the chief here. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I know he's the chief, but um, let's talk, let's discuss a bit about um, maybe the, their identities. Mrs. Pamela James, you want my job? You want to fire me? You want my seat? Please, I will bid you for retirement by next year, and I want to go happily on a clean slate. And I do hope you will understand that. Um, thank you all the same. You're welcome. Mrs. Pamela Davis. into your account. You may now leave. I will call you when I need you. Hello. You're the boss. And I believe you. Hello. Jack. Good job. Thank you. Hello. I'm on my way.
Why is she keeping us waiting? So, if I am to say, we are practically wasting and dissipating our energy and time on this whole venture. What do you mean? She has practically nothing to report. A few moments ago, she was in my office, practically begging me for some information. To think that she came from Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard, my foot. I don't know. I sincerely hope you are wrong. So you will be disappointed, I, I assure you. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, gentlemen. I'm sorry, Chief. So, what do you have for us? Um, nothing. Nothing? The only clue we have now is um, that on Agent Arnold. Where is the agent, Arnold? Agent Arnold is dead, sir. Arnold claimed dead? He is dead, sir. I'm sure we're all as shocked as I am. How come he was dead and it wasn't made official? Well, I was going to say that in the meeting. I just got information that he was dead. It's obvious you have nothing to offer. I mean, the only lead you have is a dead agent. So what else do we expect from you? I'm inclined to believe what Boy is saying. That you are here to dissipate our energy and waste our money, right? Nigerian, uh, I just arrived. Um, I'm leaving the airport. Where is your papers? What kind of question is that? I said I'm a Nigerian. Identify yourself first. Do I need identification in my own country? I mean, identify yourself. Oh, please, stop that crap. Wow. I said I'm a Nigerian. You don't have papers? Am I speaking French? I said I'm a Nigerian. You must have I mean, a paper. What's going on here? What is this? When did this law come into effect? I mean, identify yourself. I'm no Nibo. Let's go. I'm in Nigeria. What is it? Sir, we just got an information at the control center that Agent Arnold was spotted at the International Airport. Arnold? Yes, sir. Agent Arnold? He just got into the country. No, that's not possible. Agent Arnold is dead. When did this information get him? Just a few moments ago, madam. No, that's practically impossible because I was informed that Agent Arnold was dead. No. Uh, listen, let them hold him up at the airport. Okay. I'll pick him up myself. All right, madam. And, um, yes. make sure nothing happens to him until I get there. Okay, madam. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me, chief. This is confusing. Sir, I am sure that Arnold was dead. I'm, 
I was told that he was dead. Then how come Agent Arnold was dead and I was not informed? With due respect, sir, I, I was just informed I was going to say that in a meeting. I knew that it was going to come up. Sir. Listen to me, Bimbo, that my agent is dead and you want to announce it before a whole meeting. Is that a standard procedure? Sir, I, I got the information and I knew because we had this meeting, I was coming here to say Shut it. up, Bimbo. You know the standard procedure. I have to know before everybody. There's something going on in this agency and I'll get to the bottom of it. My agent is dead. You, as close as you are to me, I would have been the first to know. Now you are informing me along with the rest of the people that my agent is dead. Shame, isn't it? Shame. But I'm going to get to the bottom of whatever is wrong in this agency. I will. Excuse me, sir. I was going to confirm before I let you know that. I was going to talk about it. Um, uh, sir, please, uh, I'd like to use the gents. I'm very pressed. The gents? Yes. Leave your bag there. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I cannot leave my bag behind. Look, you can take a look at it. There's nothing here to hide. I'm not having it skilled. What wing? We are not wing. Okay.
get into the car. Get in! You've lived up to your reputation. How did you escape from my man? It was easy. And that's what you get when you send boys to do a man's job. Mm. My apologies. I am Superintendent Mrs. Pamela Jones. It's nice to meet you, ma'am. I've heard how you shake hands and suddenly guns exchange hands. Why don't you try this on? Let's do it. Go ahead. Say that I'm the wrong candidate to pick. I don't work with the accounts. I only do field jobs. Yeah, I sure do know that. And I know that you have also tactically eliminated all the people involved, those who would have given out information. Say that your boys. I'm gonna say that you're more efficient than your boys. I enjoy the shootout. Why should I do that? Why should I do that? I'm not a criminal.
This is madness. This is madness. I was in South Africa. Somebody made an attempt on my life. And he's in the process they killed my girlfriend. And I'm back in Lagos and you're all on my on my neck. What's going on? What's going on? Can somebody talk to me? What? Go to hell, go to hell! Miss Stevens, you have worked with the Bullet Heart Squad for over five years. Yes, Mrs. James. While I was still a correspondent staff in Liberia. Hmm. And what does your job with the squad in Monrovia entail? I had two responsibilities while with the Bullet Heart. One was to coordinate the cladding style operations of the squad, and two was to cater for the medical attention of the squad ma. Uh, Mrs. Tonya Stevens, health of the squad members you mentioned, are you a medic? Um, no, sir. Um, I mean mental health, because if that is not properly handled, they tend to have problems because of what they do. Hmm. So, uh, what kind of problems? Um, depression, um, anger, and some other physical problems. Ma. Be more specific, Ms. Stevens. Well, um, headache and um, delayed response to stimuli. Um, Ms. Tonya Stevens, does it not have any effect on your memories? Well, sir, they are subjected to a certain level of amnesia after each of the operations. What level exactly are we talking about? Um, we deliberate um, information of their memory, ma, which we don't disclose under any circumstance. Mm. <laughs> well, Miss Tonia, you'll be working with us. I would like you to go through all your files on your various missions for the Bullard Squad, especially those that have to do with um, finance. I'm sure you're aware of the investigation going on about the Bullard Squad funds. Yes, ma'am. I will want you to make available whatever information you have in order to help us get ahead me in this investigation. I'll do just that, ma. All right, Miss Stevens, get to it. You're welcome. Oh. What do you think? Um, she sounds very intelligent and uh, ready to work with us. She doesn't have to will. We've got to make her will. <laughs> have the will, rather. Hey, yo, Joey, what's up? <laughs> How's it work today? Yeah, hey, what's up? How's it going? I, I need my key, though. Alright, sure. Okay, man. Yes, Yes, sir. Yeah. That's good. So, how's work today? Okay, sir. See, so you guys are really bright. You're kicking, right? All right, I'll see you later. All right, sir. All right, sir. Who wants me dead? I don't know what you're talking about. I said, who wants me dead? I do not know what you're talking about. I mean it. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't trust anybody in Bully Heart. So who wants me dead? Bully Heart? 
Damn, I thought you'd know Bully had his craft about two years ago. It doesn't exist anymore. What do you mean it doesn't exist? Don't Somebody don't wants me dead. I know it must be Bully Hag. Damn, I thought you went to Europe and we all had our own assignment. We've been relocated. What's happening to you? It doesn't exist anymore. Drop the gun. Take it easy, man. Are you sure what you're saying? Yes. me dead. You know, somebody tried to kill me. Fortunately, he killed my girlfriend. I don't know. Somebody wants me dead. Damn. I'm so sorry about that, but you know, actually there's been some speculations on the bully heart, you know, investigations. But it's got nothing to do with you. What investigation? Well, I know. I'll tell you something for sure. I, if you really need information, I think you should go to headquarters and see if you could find something there. Well, I thought you wanted to kill me, man. Do, why, why, why don't we go upstairs? I'm on an assignment right now. Why don't we go upstairs and talk about this? No. You know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry for that. Well, what's happening, man? You must go. Where are you going? Just, I don't know. I just have to get out of here. I need some answers. Okay, I'll see you around. I know. There's been some bullshit in the bureau. Be careful, watch your back, okay? Alright. Take it easy. Nice to see you again. why this guy is not discreet at all in spite of the fact that he knows is being wanted he exposes himself to the cameras I'm sure this Arnold guy must be a diehard not just that Arnold is just too dangerous if you ask me I actually do not think he knows he's been filmed what exactly do you mean Arnold I know it's just been overconfident, that's all. No, yeah. what, what kind of... He must have been sick in times. No, they do not make mistakes. The bully hearts do not act by chance. Don't you think that I should know better than that, Tonya? Tonya, how do you mean? If he intended beating the filming, he could have done just that, madam. How? He is very sophisticated in this regard. Arnold is truly an agent, madam. And does that make him so confident? That's not what I meant. What do you mean, Tonya? I think that Arnold is not behind all this. He knows no past, so he doesn't have anything to do with the future. Now listen to me, Tony. I know this is name, but he did two of our enemies. I doubt if he did. Hello? Who is this? Give the phone to Mrs. James. Madam, it's for you. Let me have the earpiece. Okay. Pamela James speaking. Arnold. Arnold? Arnold Clem. Oh, Arnold. What can we do for you? Are you running Bullyhead? Oh, um... The Bullyhead was scrapped two years ago. Then who is running the operations now? There are no more oppressions. It's over, Arnold. Then why are you after me? Arnold, you do remember what happened in Lagos, don't you? You killed two of our men, didn't you?
Arnold? Are you there? Arnold? Arnold? What's happening? Can I get him? We, we lost him. We lost him. God. Were you able to track him? Mrs. James, I'd like to turn myself in. Really? And how do you intend to do that? There's a girl I used to know in Monrovia. She used to work as now station staff. If you can find her, I'll turn myself in. Oh, uh, but how do we find this girl? She's right there beside you, dummy. Beside me? Um, Arnold! Is this... Were you able to track him? Is he still on? No, madam, we have lost him. I told you! I told you that he was fine on us. I told you! Well, we've got to do something about this immediately. Um, George? Uh, Mrs. James, I think we should just react to what he said. What did caution? Now shut up, George! Arnold is a very dangerous person. Um, so, um... Let's get on to it. What do we do now? By the way, where is that map? Can I have it now? Excuse me. Yeah, over here. Over here. I want it to come over here. That's right. Here is a strategic point on top of the building and also the defunct um, minister's um, quarters will offer us a vantage point for us to play target anywhere at the hotel. That's from this point. Here. And what exactly are you saying is pretending? What I'm saying here is that we're going to be sending snipers and dogs and also some local policemen. No way, no way, no way. What are the options? Listen, I need the information from this guy. I need him to talk. What exactly are you talking about? Are you so cheap? Superintendent, Mrs. Pamela James. Are you so cheap in believing that he wants to surrender himself or something? This guy knows a lot about the budget file and the attacks and all that. I cannot take any chances. I want to get to him. He's got a lot to tell us. He's got to tell us all he knows. Why are you so naive? If I may ask. Why are you so naive? What exactly are we working on here? Is it to kill Arnold or to unmask the fraudulent faces in here? We want to see if we can trace and know his next line of action. And who knows? It might not be me. You might be his next target. Excuse me, gentlemen. Well, I prefer to arrest him than kill him. Oh, well, I want him dead. And that is final. And for your information, Agent Arnold Clem is too dangerously violent to be captured. Excuse me, gentlemen. Him at all. Oh, yeah. You sent for me. Yes, Mrs. Pamela James. Sit down. No, not to worry, it's okay. Well, Mrs. Pamela James, I can see how committed and devoted you are on this matter. But there is nothing, absolutely nothing, Arnold could tell you that will bring our men back to life. I mean those already dead and probably those whom you still intend to stand out there to get killed. Was it that good? Yes, he was one of our very best. So, what exactly do you mean? Mrs. Pamela Jones. We are all professionals in this business, and we all know that when an operation gets bad, we kill it. Is there something you're not telling me? I can see that you are a very stubborn person, and that is exactly what I want to tell you. Excuse me. Yes, J George, come in. Mm. Uh, do plant cameras in the most visible parts of the hotel and make sure the young lady is uh, equipped with gadgets so we can read her loud and clear. Yeah, and um, uh, put the snipers in place um, just in case something goes wrong, you know. We can take Arnold out. All right. Okay, out now. Yeah, so... Yes, Bimbo. Will that be all? That will be all, Mrs. James. All right, then.
Bond? Yes, boss. Do exactly as planned. Is that correct? Yes, boss. Do I make myself clear? Yes, boss. Good. Just hang, just hang on there. Zik, are you on with your snipers? All right. It's ten past seven. It's late. So what do you want me to say? You go answer for yourself. I know that I know will not be there. I know. Why don't you just go inside and into the bar? Go into the club and let's see, maybe he check around to see if he's there already. Uh, Tonya. Tonya, do you read me? Tonya. Here now listen, um, I need some answers, okay? I don't know what's going on. Who is after my life? Our oh Lord, two agents were killed two weeks ago. And your fingerprints were found on them. Yeah. Though I know you didn't kill them. Of but course I didn't. Yes, but I, didn't. I don't understand. Look, I wish, I wish I knew what is going on. What exactly is going on now? Look, I, I, I don't know. I, I wish I knew. Look, listen, some weeks back, uh, some, some people tried to kill me in South Africa, but um, unfortunately ended up killing my girlfriend. I'm here at home trying to get answers. But I don't know. Everybody's on my neck. Please, is there something I need to know? Well, I, I don't have any answers to that. I was just called back to help investigate the fraud that happened some time ago. Look, I've heard this thing about fraud. I don't know nothing about no fraud. I'm barely surviving. Excuse me. Let me talk to them. I can't hear the steps. I can't see. Hello? Hello? Zeke, are you there? Can you see them, Zeke? Ma Arnold. Bimbo is a part of this. Bimbo? Yeah. Damn, why, why did I think of him all this while? Do you think Bimbo is a part of this? I'm not sure, but I, I don't, that's one guy that I don't trust. I've never trusted him. Now, you listen, I want you to get the snipers up ready, and I want you to shoot at sight. Is that clear? Okay, sir. All right. Uh, now, listen, boys, listen. All snipers should be ready. All snipers should be ready. Do not shoot. I repeat, do not shoot unless he tries to escape. I repeat, do not shoot. What? Cut. Now, get your men to pull to go inside, search all around the hotel, right? I want you to find them, yes. Locate her and track her down fast. Oh. Damn. Look, I must look for Bimbo right away. He might have some answers for me. He might know something. Arnold, I, I don't trust Bimbo anymore. You just have to be very careful. Okay. 
Okay, thanks a lot, okay? Look, I know I can. Look, it's been quite a while, okay? Yeah. Take good care of yourself, okay? I will. All right? Now I must run now, okay? Be very careful, love. I will, okay? And you too, be careful too, okay? Start the trouble. Okay, see you around. to see you. Patrick. Yes, sir. What does he want? He says he has some vital information to pass to you. Uh, let him in. Okay, sir. And make sure you stay here. Okay, sir. Good sir. Hello. Good day, Patrick. Sit down. Can I help you? Sir, I'm sorry if I disturbed you. I just want to have a word with you. Yeah, about what? The fingerprint, sir. Fingerprint? What fingerprint? Sir, I think there's a lot of um, mistake about this whole issue. I see. So, what do you think? Sir, don't you think that an intelligent agent like Arnold will not be so stupid as to forget his gloves on the scene of the crime? Now, what are you suggesting? Sir, I think those fingerprints were planted on those gloves and dropped at the scene of the crime just to frame the poor guy. And there is a second fingerprint and Madam is yet to know about it. It could make this whole case very interesting. Mm, I see. You are very intelligent. Thank you, sir. And um, I would like you to go and discuss with uh, Bond so that you can both rob mines and then make your recommendations and bring forward to my desk. You know, we are dealing with a very sensitive aspect of the agency's operation. And I want to assure you that you will be rewarded handsomely. You will get double promotion for this, it's my promise. Thank okay. you, sir. Let me leave. Bon? Yes, sir. I'll be with you. Did you hear that? Now make sure. Make sure that this information Thus, not go any further. Is that clear? Yes, boss. That's Mrs. James. You mean the additional fingerprints? Exactly, and many more. You see, he's willing to tell you handsome. Listen, if you unveil the information 
to Miss James. Many heads will roll. And Chief doesn't want to be disappointed. Um, I'm sorry. I, Listen. I just have to do my Listen. Job. Chief is offering you a hundred thousand dollars. Think about it. I'm, I'm still sorry. I can't take it. I have to do my job. I'm sorry. Agent Nani. I'm so sorry. Well, Please. we all are doing our jobs. So, so, so. And you sorry. see, Chief is a type of person that doesn't want to disappoint me. Yes, I am doing my job. <laughs> like the one I want to do right now. Cross this! Oh, fuck you! Oh, fuck you! I was told you refused to release the file on Arnold. Why, if I may ask? Yes. For some personal reasons, Mrs. Pamela James. What's reason? What do you want with the file? And why are you being difficult, sir? Now listen to me, Mrs. Pamela James. I command the bully heart. Commanded? Whatever! However, Mrs. Pamela James, I reserve the right to personally work on any data concerning the bully heart whenever I wish to. Do I make myself clear, Mrs. Pamela James? Is that so? I hate the word subversion, especially in espionage. I do not care what you hate and what you do not hate, Pamela. What is important, Mrs. Pamela, is that you are naive and stupid, stiff-necked in matters that you do not know anything of its history. Oh, yeah? History. Why don't you open up to me? Tell me something. Talk to me. That will be all for now, Mrs. Pamela James. You may now leave my office. Do I sense frustration here? And with or without your assistance, we'll get the job done. And you will be rewarded bountifully. Bond, I want to see you immediately in my office. I did. 
You made me believe that Arnold was dead. Of course he's dead. He's a dead meat. Maybe he was dead. But now, he's back. He's resurrected. And back here in Lagos. But I killed him. I killed him. Now will you shut up and listen to me? Arnold is back in Lagos. And he has facts to nail me if he's not stopped. And you know the implication of this. You know what? You listen good. And listen good right now. This time, he's not going to escape me. And he stays dead. Show yourself! I'm tired of this bullshit! Show yourself! You lazy bond! I don't! Come out and die! Come out and say farewell! I don't! Come out! My name is Jack! I don't! I want you now! I am tired of this bullshit! Come out, you lazy bond, Arnold! Come out right now! My name is Jack! This is not the end, Arnold! I am looking for you! Arnold! 
Sai já de lá, Zipo! I have not been expecting you, Arnold. And what are you doing in my house? I've come to find out why you have decided to friend me for your crimes. That was inevitable, wasn't it? After I used you to kill in DIA, I thought the whole thing was over until Scotland Yard had to send that nosy Mrs. James to investigate the missing hundred million dollars. Agent Desmond from Ghana thought he could be desperate and I had to take him out. I thought I could frame you or possibly eliminate you before they get to you. But here you are, all because of lousy Jack. So now, what do you want to do? Tell me. Are you telling me you're responsible for the death of that innocent girl? What girl are you talking about? My girlfriend in South Africa. <laughs> oh, that. She was part of the casualties. Casualties? Of course, that's how it is. You call killing in an innocent girl just casualties? Now you listen to me, Adolf. You wanna shoot me? I have no regrets whatsoever for everything that I have done. And let me just tell you, you don't have anything on me. You don't have any 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 accusations. What? You know something? Look, I have a good mind. I have a good mind to end this miserable, pissed life of yours. But I won't. That is your problem. That has always been your problem. Always a good guy. Now you have an opportunity to do something, you won't even do it. Now listen to me, let me tell you, Arnold. I have no regrets doing all that I did. If I have an opportunity, I'm going to do it all over. You don't even have any evidence against me. So what are you talking about? A guy's got to do what he's got to do, so go ahead, shoot me. Yes, a guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. And that's why you fell for the oldest trick in the book. Oh, come on, I've heard it severally. What are you talking about? I've got a surprise for you. What surprise? Bastard! Bastard!
Yeah. Yes, it's the major on its way because I have a meeting as the presidency. I have to pick up. Yes. It's on its way? All right. No problem. All right. Come. Is the car ready with the driver? Yes, they are ready, sir. Okay. Excuse me, Chief. Yes, I got this from rear service. This is addressed to you, Mrs. James. Chief, please go through it. I don't know what you want from me, but I think this tape will help you in your investigations. Thanks. I'm hey. not Chief, please. Do listen to this, please. Expecting you, Arnold. And what are you doing in my house? That was inevitable, wasn't it? After I used you to kill DIA, I thought the whole thing was over until Scotland Yard had to send that nosy Mrs. James. I've got to do what I've got to do. Bimbo. Now I see. Um, George, Zig, you're coming with me. Huh? Let's go. Oh, now I see. Oh. Bimbo. Bimbo. My God. Braces you've got there. I guess Arnold must have been here before us. Go to hell! No, Bimbo. It's you who will rot in hell. I made a terrible mistake. I should have dispatched you a long time ago. <laughs> Guess what? It's too late now. I will make sure you roast in jail. <laughs> Take him away.
Hello. 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 Just hold it. for the oldest trick in the book. When are you going to stop being mischievous, Arnold? Hello, Mrs. James. I thought I'd stop by. Respecting somebody. Yeah, you. The boys told me they sighted you around the neighborhood. So I guess you have just one place left to go. <laughs> well, I. I came to tell myself, eh? But you are a free man. I thought so. But with the Bureau these days, um, you never can be sure. You are a free man. See, Chief and I were talking the other day and um, we were thinking about reabsorbing you into the bureau, you know? We could do with skillful people like you around. Truth is, I'm tired of espionage. But with people like you still in the system, I might just give it a thought. Keep me waiting. You know, I've always wondered is it Mrs. James or Miss James? Mrs. James. Mr. James is deceased. waiting. Incomplete It's a war, it's a 
wrong words It's a side to disease Does this evil have a name? If this evil is to blame Is this nature of evil mankind? Is it a game that he plays? Bloody killing is the name He thinks that crime is just Crime is just Baby, I don't like Oh, you like Do you try to get by? You won't ask so much for me I don't need to find you They're gonna find you There's so much confusion Who's the copy of the crime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crime never good, never good. Crime no good, no, 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 no good. Definitely no good. Good.